Hello and welcome to Jezebog's The Documentary. Tonight we'll be looking at his highlights of the year throughout his career. So join us as we look at his top highlights of the year. What's so great about Jezebog is that the videos are so spontaneous. Is that like he he just has this improvisation um, in all of his videos. There's no there's no script. He just it just comes out. He's like it's almost like a freestyler, and and it's good that he does that. He should really keep that up. He's a good man. I I think for me uh, Jezebog is it's just it's funny. It's entertaining. Um, you know the episode where I starred in uh, Shiran in my very own vlog. I uh, I get a little bit of a cameo. <laughs> What's your name? Shiran. Mm, Shiran. Like Shir Khan from Jungle Book. Nah, he says no. Uh, yeah, it was it's great fun filming on set. I mean, he he's he's just he's just got this kind of this vibe which 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 seems to be infectious, and I I just I just can't believe. The stuff he does for people. Yeah, man, I, I I saw that guy one time on on YouTube, and believe me, he was he got it on, man. He got it on. One of the timeless events that we see is Jason Vogue's dancing. The dancing in Jezebox is, of course, um, one of his many traits. Uh, he's well known for his uh, freestyle dancing. Since starting in February, Jezevlogs, also known as Jeremy Hogarth, has been filming his life and his career since the very start. All I can say is his dancing moves are pretty neat. I'm not gonna lie, those are some sweet moves, brother. In these dances, they're just ingenious because he's often offbeat and he's not really in tune with the music, which is precisely what dancing should be. I mean, as for the dancing, he's done um, salsa dancing, uh, tango dancing, he's even done ballroom dancing, and the disco ones are just fantastic. I remember when he did the uh, Napoleon Dynamite dance, that was a... That was great, absolutely, honestly, 10 out of 10. That was the one of the greatest hits, of course. If he keeps these up, he will hit Hollywood with a bam. I mean, he'll be like a bam in there with all the stars. He's just got that character. He's got the, he's got the personality. He's got the, the talent. What's not to say? There was that, that one scene where he's, he's dancing in the, in the kitchen um, with the lights off and then bam, it's just like, completely lit up and he starts doing his little tango dancing and offbeat dancing. Passable, um, just really great. Absolutely, honestly, um, he's just vlogging material. Macarena, que tu cuerpo es para mal, la alegría y cosas buenas. Dale a tu cuerpo, alegría, Macarena.
And I love about his dancing. He's just got a groove in. He's got a groove and it, it works. It works and it works. You know? Um, maybe not all the time. Maybe he's offbeat sometimes or he stumbles and falls. Uh, I gotta give him credit. He's a good dancer. But he's more of a musician than a dancer. We'll take a short break now, but don't go anywhere. Here's what's coming up. I mean, up next, some Jezza vlogs. It's been wicked, but yeah, that's, that's Jezza vlog. You have to watch closely when he's lip to realise that it's not actually him singing. 